Hola Apartment Therapy, I'm Manu, this is Frida and I'm Javi and this is Flap and welcome to our 860 square feet apartment here in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Come in, take a look. Before running into this apartment, we had seen like 10 different apartments maybe. So we were like looking, looking, looking. All of a sudden, it was on a Sunday, we, we saw it, we were in love with it. I feel it and he felt it too. These were the places uh, we were want to stay mostly forever. Here in uh, Argentina, uh, specifically in Buenos Aires, the architecture style is really European. Like one small living dining room, one small bedroom, another small bedroom, a small kitchen. And we decided to integrate most spaces as we could. So we tore down the walls from the other bedroom and the kitchen and make a whole big space. Our biggest challenge was budgets. Everything we wanted, it costed so much money. We're like, we cannot hire anybody for this money. And we started looking for the ways to make it ourselves. We started Googling how to break down a wall, break down a hallway, electricity, be careful of like not having the ceiling coming down on us. So that was the first challenge, breaking down the walls. Then like these pieces of furniture that were like so expensive with the wood and iron. So we started buying all the elements separately and we put them all together. The same as the planters outside for the, for the plants. You know, when you go to a place for a first time or like visit another country and you're in love with something, I don't know, you go over, over to, I don't know, Mexico. Yeah. And you, you like, like all those, those like strong colors they have. And we, we just made the, the painting with, with the cacti. We were like, we want that Mexico spirit somewhere in our place. We went to, to Greece. All the buildings were like so white. And we started talking to a guy and we were like, how you make it so white? And he's like, we paint it every three months. And I'm like, that's right. If you want a concept, you need to work for it. We paint the terrace, the white terrace, at least three times a year. Then we paint the floor two to three times a year too, to keep it refreshed. So that gives you an, an extra energy, an extra impact. Our favorite item in the house from all the items we have here uh, definitely will be the red stove. We had it in mind for so long. For us, represented the heart of the house, the warmth, the old way of cooking with the fire. One item that we are also really proud of, it's our big table. We wanted this wood table, but it was like really expensive. And going back to the DIYs, I found these old pieces of wood at my grandfather's house and my uncle is a carpenter, so he helped me with it. Right now it's set for six people, yeah. but you can definitely fit 10 people squeezed, Please. but that's what we wanted. My biggest indulgence would be the plants and the pots. We are kind of anxious people living in the city, going here, going there. But then you come back home, you cannot rush a plant. You have to let it grow to its tempo. They represent the natural path of the things. I mean, if it's a small, small, small space, make sure you're making the most of it. Like every wall. If this is a four wall space, it doesn't mean it's just a one space. Every wall can have its character, ha can have a, a color, a texture, a pattern. And now that we are running out of projects, we have some of them left. Yeah. We're like, what we're gonna do after we're done? And we are starting to ask our friends if they need any help with any project. <laughs> yeah. Like setting up shelves, uh, mirrors. Yeah. Do you need a hand with anything in your home? So after being away, coming back home, it really feels nice having the dogs, having the plants, having like those things that the, the shampoo you love, that hand cream you, you love, you know, having your things that you, you could have replacements everywhere else, but there's nothing like 
was yours, you know? As Dorothy said, there's no place like home. <laughs> yeah. Gracias, Apartment Therapy, for coming over. We hope you enjoyed the tour and we'll see you soon. Thank you again to all those that voted for us and feel free to come in whenever. Hasta la próxima. Bye. Ciao, ciao. She sneezed.